Hello ladies and gentlemen welcome to Triple N Media Talk Show I am Dr Nick Nickam and this is COVID-19 pandemic world news in this presentation we are going to look at how hydroxychloroquine and zinc work in COVID-19 patients as of July 18 2020 More than 14.37 million people have acquired coronavirus infection across the globe which has resulted in more than 600,000 deaths and 8.57 million people have recovered just a couple of words about what is coronavirus coronavirus is a virus which consists of a single strand RNA which is its main component which is encapsulated in a membrane and it has these spikes known as the spike spike proteins these spike proteins make it unique for this virus to get into the lung tissue and create all the damage and havoc this is what we have been accustomed to see as a representation of the corona virus Uh, if you look at it the corona virus comes through nasopharyngeal passages and it uh, travels to the alveoli and into the tiny airway branches which end in these uh, sac like structures these sac like structures are where oxygen and carbon dioxide is exchanged uh, in the lungs these sacs are lined with what are called pneumocytes or epithelial cells and they are also lined by tiny capillaries or the blood vessels that carry the blood where the oxygen and carbon dioxide is exchanged in this air space as you can see the air space is very clear within the alveolar sacs there are three different kinds of cells we we will come across namely the pneumocytes which i already talked about that line the alveolar spaces and there is also there are also macrophages which uh, remove any bacteria virus or dusty particles or pollens that's the job of this macrophage is to remove all the debris from the alveolar space then we also have the lymphocytes which are circulating in the blood that produce antibodies against any type of infection be it bacterial viral fungal or any reactions to pollens dust chemicals etc now we're going to look at the role of hydroxychloroquine and zinc before i go any further i just want to emphasize the fact that the information provided here is for educational and informational purposes only and this is not a medical advice please consult with your physician for any medical advice hydroxychloroquine has been talked about all over the globe particularly here in the united states there have been numerous studies uh, looking at the role of hydroxychloroquine in covid-19 patients the most encouraging results have come from the henry ford hospital on which i have done a video you are welcome to watch that video for a detailed explanation of the study from the henry ford hospital the henry ford hospital looked at 2500 plus patients and they found a significant decrease in the mortality of patients in the intensive care unit who were treated with hydroxychloroquine so we're going to look at the role of hydroxychloroquine and see how it works and as i said this is not an endorsement of the product but this is for educational purpose only in fact nih is conducting a randomized placebo controlled study to look at the role of hydroxychloroquine and perhaps zinc in patients with the covid-19 infection basically hydroxychloroquine is a drug which has been used for malaria and for lupus because of its ability to enhance the body's immune response 
In the same fashion, hydroxychloroquine has been found to block these receptors through which the ACE receptors through which these uh, coronaviruses get into the lung cells, namely the pneumocytes. In addition to that, hydroxychloroquine also has been hypothesized to block the replication of the coronavirus inside these uh, alveolar cells. And hydroxychloroquine works better when it is given in the earliest stages of the coronavirus infection as it was significantly emphasized in the Henry Ford trial which involved more than 2500 patients. That is an important factor to remember. Hydroxychloroquine may work better if it's given early during the course when there is very minimal viral load to begin with so that it can reduce the viral load. In addition, hydroxychloroquine also changes the pH inside the cell which helps the cell to get rid of the virus better than if there was no hydroxychloroquine. The next point is hydroxychloroquine also enhances the activity of the zinc which we will look into next. Zinc is a naturally occurring element. It is an important element that is in the body and is uh, related to the immune functions of the T cells which produce antibodies and interferon which fights the infection, fights the viruses. Uh, zinc has been found to be useful especially when used in conjunction with hydroxychloroquine and here are the sites where zinc works. Zinc works on the macrophages, it works on lymphocytes, it also works on, here's zinc, it works on the pneumocytes or the lung epithelial cells. First of all, it works on macrophages by increasing it, its ability to break down the viruses. It also stimulates the T cells in producing antibodies, and immune response to various types of challenges, be it from bacteria, virus, or fungal. Zinc has also been found to block the replication of these RNA templates, which result in multiple virus duplications, which go on relentlessly destroying cell after cell in the lungs, leading to pneumonia and uh, respiratory failure. So these are some of the mechanisms by which uh, hydroxychloroquine and zinc are supposed to work. This is for educational purpose only and please do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, we have several videos, educational videos uh, on COVID-19 pandemic 2019 and 2020 and please, please do watch them and please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and we will see you next time. Thank you.